What's going on guys? It's your boy 20 d 2 wild checking in once again back with the bigger of the day guys and today we have the beautiful Beretta M9A4. <laughs> This right here is the grail when it comes to pistols in my opinion. This is the Porsche of pistols in my humble opinion. The Beretta M9A4. Now, my history is not the best, but I'm gonna give you guys a history lesson as best as I can. So feel free to comment down below and correct me if I get it wrong. But the Beretta M9 has been in service since 1985 as one of the main pistols for the armed forces, specifically for the army. And recently in 2017, it was replaced by the M17 or also M18, also known as the P320. It was going up against the Glock 19, which is also the Glock 19X that is also being sold now in this tan type of configuration. It was also the, of course, P320 or M18. And I believe there's some other weapons from like Smith and Wesson, CZ, and a couple of other people out there that was also in this competition. The guns were being used though since 1985 and were starting to break down, so it was time to up things. Unfortunately, the M9A4 was in the competition and did not win. However, of course, when it comes to guns, these companies have to make a lot of them, have them already ready for standby so that if they win, they can go ahead and start shipping them out to the soldiers, you feel me? So they take that loss, then that then goes from this being a soldier's weapon to something that they can sell to civilians like us. Even the the P320, you know, is the M18, they're the same thing, they're just, one's called the M18, one's called the P320, and that's the civilian version that's being sold, you feel me? So, we have here the M9A4, there was an M9, a3, I think an M9A2 and, and uh, M9A2 as well, but I don't think they, I got the discontinued or something like that. It was something I was reading about that in general. But in 2017, um, the Army chose that weapon, the M18, M17, and then later on, every other armed forces replaced it out there. There's still, I've seen Marines that have not let go of the Berettas and wanted to keep them, and I've seen people that still have stunned, you know, stuck by the Beretta M9 even to this day. This gun is fabulous, man. It's definitely some changes on this one compared to the previous M9A3. Nothing too much, out of, well, I guess, it, I mean, the, the optic cut that has came with it is one of the biggest things because we haven't really seen that ever on a Beretta. There are other variants out there that have had the optic cuts, but this one in particular, I think from the previous model being the M9A3, I don't think that they had the optic, cut, uh, optic cuts, but feel free to correct me if I'm wrong. You also have a threaded barrel, you feel me? This is the Big Daddy version of the 92 Century on, which I also loved and wouldn't have mind getting, and I feel like that is something that's easier to carry compared to this one, which is a full-size daddy, you feel what I'm saying? So this, you could carry it, but it's, Probably not gonna be the best thing. A little bit uncomfortable, you feel me? But I didn't get that for that. I got it for the history and just how beautiful this damn gun is. But you got, of course, the threaded barrel that takes on a suppressor, the optic cuts, which I have an optic plate from the homie d -Loss. Stay tuned for that, check it out. Maybe I can get this to focus on it, there you go. Check him out. He makes optic cuts actually that sit lower than Beretta, because Beretta, that the ones that you buy from them, are just thick and chunky and sit you. I'm like the gun like this and I'm looking at the damn, the, the red dots right here. It's not like that, you feel me? So I will leave a link to his Reddit profile, okay? That's the best I can do. Contact him there if you wanna learn more about his optics and uh, go from there. We'll be doing a full setup of this gun, optic out with the lights, you know, everything in the next couple of days once I get out to the range. I did, however, shoot this gun and I loved it. The double action, the single action, I love it the trigger, everything, this feels amazing. The weight, less recoil than you expect, you feel me? And this is definitely gonna be one of my favorite guns in my collection. And another thing that is different from this version through other Centrions, I believe all, maybe all the military version had this, but you know, the decocker. On the Centrion, this is also a safety in decocker, but there's no safety on this one. It goes back up to just being a straight up decocker. You have the lanyard right here on the back, of course, which is also featured like on the 92, um, 19X and other ones out there. And man, this beautiful butter, peanut butter and jelly time. You feel what I'm saying? Amazing, amazing. Also, these were made in Gall Gallatin, Tennessee, um, made in the USA. Different than your typical Italian, you know, Beretta out there. US made for the military, man. So. These are special, in my opinion. You know, I like it. I love it. And the Type 9 uh, M9A4, definitely a little hurt that they didn't win, but it's a bittersweet thing, man. Beretta, they did that thing for, what, 40-something years? You know, maybe they'll be back one, you know, one day. Six is killing it. I still like this gun. Is it better than my P320? Uh, we'll, we'll see how 
time goes on. But this is not, a, I bought this for always this loving Beretta, in my opinion, being a grill gun, being a gun I always wanted. This is beautiful. The box it comes in is like your typical ammo box, comes in with a two additional 18 round magazine. So you have 18 in there and then two more 18s. Comes also with an additional handguard, which is a bigger version of the handguard that's, you know, comes on the gun. So if you want a more thick, chunkier look, this would cover the back part of this up, but I'm kind of good. I like I like that metal feel. And the, I, I don't know. I just like how this feels as is. So, you know, I'm going to leave it at that. You pull this out. You got two extra pamphlets. One being just like the regular manual, the 90s manual, the 90s series, my bad. And then you got the OG Beretta breakdown right there. Got a little bit of a shine effect. It's kind of weird. It's different, but this is the warranty pretty much of everything on the weapon. I'm not worried about no warranty when it comes to this thing. Beretta, man, amazing company. And uh, definitely happy to get my hands on it. Hey, John Wick, man, you might need to use this in the next movie, you feel me? But the 18 rounds, I love it. I might even throw on like a Turan Tactical uh, extender down the road. We'll have to just wait and see, but amazing. One thing about this that I did not know, I'll have to say off the rip, Beretta is the easiest gun to break down. You literally press this button right here and then flip the switch down and the gun's out. Now, with YouTube and how their rules are, I'm not gonna risk that right now, but you literally press this button and then flip this switch down and the gun is, you can take it apart. I love the open chamber, it's amazing. You put a bullet in there, single shot, pow, you're ready to go, you feel me? Uh, everything about this A1 steak sauce, nothing that I would change out whatsoever. The optics, I love them, they go in the dark as well. And I've seen suppressor height sights, maybe that be something down the road that's worth switching out on because of course, with the optic, the red dot, it sits the sits too high that it you don't you lose access to your to your iron sights. And I always like just to have access to it. That's one of the biggest issues I have with the P320 is that you just completely lose everything there. So, yeah. Um, as stated before, though, you know you got the threaded barrel. Wouldn't mind seeing how this thing shoots down the road. You know, with a suppressor on it. I don't think any other Beretta features this on it, so this is something definitely new to the game. Oh um, man, I just dropped it, man. I gotta figure out which way to go. In my first time on the range shooting this, man, I was shooting it pretty good for the most part. It had a little bit low left, which I always have an issue with, low left. And that's majority of the time my, I would say, uh, anticipated uh, in recoil or anticipate, you know, anticipating the shots. Trying to, the recoil anticipation just messes me up. I have to get a better grip and I need to work on that. This is something that me personally, I need to work on. There's always things for me to work on when it comes to shooting, but I'll get it down pack and get it right and, you know, very shortly. But I love it, man. The double serrated grips on the front and back. Good, easy access. This thing just glides. I mean, it's probably, this is probably the most smoothest gun as far as like gliding, man. And this, as far as the, the, the racking, the slide is amazing. There's nothing I really want to add on it. I didn't even want to add this light on here, bro. I kind of just like it as is clean. But at the same time, I mean, this is a quick release. I could just literally take it on and off if I want to, but I do like, you know, this as is. Now, another thing that I'll just give you guys a heads up if you get a Surefire, because people have already asked me, you put on the P1, but you have to sand down the front of it a little bit because it will not line up as is. So I sanded it down a little bit and now it's in there. It's not shaking or nothing whatsoever. Just a little side note for that. But this thing is a beauty. This thing is a classic. This thing is a part of the history in the United States military. You feel me? I'm not military, but I want to say thank you to everyone who has been in service. And um, you know, this is definitely a beautiful and amazing gun with a lot of backing and reliability. So. They've been in this thing since 1985 and they just now getting replaced. It has a lot to say about the M9 in general. And even like I stated before, some people are not willing to give up their issued guns and rather keep them. So unfortunately they didn't make it, but you know, salute to M18, man. Definitely a good gun as well. But this is a grail in the possession that I love to show you guys today and stay tuned as I will be following up on that very, very shortly. The Beretta M9A4. I love y'all. I'm out. Peace.